So you're going to need one of these giraffe gooseneck tubed water bottles, uh, one of these water pumps, a switch adapter, and I'm using this plastic earbud that comes on these stethoscopes, but you can find alternatives, and a couple of zip ties. The first thing that you're gonna do is take the water bottle gooseneck tube and drill a small hole after around three of these spaces. Then take your water pump and cut off the USB part. Take that water pump wire, thread it through the top of the water bottle, through the gooseneck tubing, and outside of that little hole that we just created a moment ago. I'm gonna add a zip tie to the inside of this. That way, if you pull on the wire, uh, it won't uh, yank it all out and it has a little resistance there. Then we will put it all back together, just like this, and screw back on the cap. And then we're just going to take that little earbud that I showed you before. It should fit perfectly with this particular pump and attach the bottom of the hose. Once that's done, we'll add three zip ties to secure the wire uh, to this tube, and then we can screw the top on, and most of this is already done. Now we gotta work on our wiring. So over here you can see I stripped the wires. Uh, this is going to be the part that connects to the USB over here. I'm just gonna pre-solder it just a little bit. So there's a black and a red wire. Uh, the main thing is just to connect two of the same colors. So here I'm connecting the black one to the black one and I'm gonna solder those two together. Next, we'll grab that mono uh, switch adapting cable and we'll solder one side to one of these red wires and then the other side to the other red wire that's open. And so we'll solder those two together. Once that's done, your cable should look like this where you have that switch adapting mono output cable it is connected with each end, one end to each of the red wires and the black wires connect to themselves. Grab a little bit of insulating tape and just secure this joint. And I'll use a hot air gun to secure it uh, so it holds a little better. Finally, uh, we're pretty much done. We're gonna add some water into our water bottle. Screw the cap back on and do a quick leak test to make sure nothing leaks. And if you did this properly, uh, there should be absolutely no leakage uh, at all. So we're finally ready to test out the system. So I'll plug in a switch adapted button into the mono cable and the USB is gonna plug into this power supply over here. And as you can see, every time I push the button, it should give us a little bit of water. I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're looking for any of the parts that I'm using or you need help at all, please see the video description or feel free to reach out to me uh, and I'd be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching.